Hello everybody, we are glad to welcome you on the Hard Reset Info YouTube channel and today I would like to demonstrate that you can reset OnePlus phone. So in order to factory reset your OnePlus mobile device, you will need to first of all launch settings. Then go into the additional settings, backup and reset reset phone, erase all data. It is worth mentioning that by resetting your phone, you will not only restore all the default settings, preferences, and etc., but also lose any data that is stored at the internal storage. So you might want to back up your data if you have some important stuff laying around. So uh, with this out of the way, let's hit that erase all data option. Then choose whether you would like to remove your eSIM profiles if you have some or not. And now the hard reset or factory reset process is getting started. So we will wait for a little bit. So practically at this point the format, the data formatting process was successfully finished. Uh, all the um, data was erased and the thing that beholds us is the system setup. So the fresh, new, clean device, or well, not so device as the system, is awaiting for us to set it up. Now let's do that as well once the phone uh, gives us a chance to. Ready. So in here, choose the language that you would like to use, then select the region that you belong to. Then uh, you can either accept all the legal information sheets or terms, or just use the crucial ones or mandatory ones and skip the optionals. If you would like to reduce the data tracking and data gathering at the manufacturer side, so they will uh, drain way less data from you. Then uh, in here you can set up the eSIM or insert the physical SIM cards if you have some. In here you gotta connect to the Wi-Fi network. Or rather you have a chance to connect to your Wi-Fi Then we will simply wait for a little bit. At this step, you can copy apps and data from uh, other device if you will have some source to copy from, should it be Android or iOS. So in here, you can either click next and start uh, transferring your backed up data or simply skip the step if you do not want to do that. Next, you can sign into your Google account, but you can also skip this step and leave it, leave it for later, perhaps. Then accept all the terms. In here, uh, set the preferred search engine or choose the default search engine that you would like to utilize. Then you can set up the screen unlock method. Again, it's optional, so you can skip the step if you are not ready to do that just yet. Then uh, set your system navigation. You can either go with digital buttons or gestures and learn the gestures if or, well, you have to. In here, you can turn on or turn off the switch that is responsible for the automatic updating of your phone overnight. And well, pretty much that would be it as far as all the crucial setup steps go. Uh, in here at the notification panel, you will have the um, well, unremovable uh, message. In a bit, just wait for a little bit, it will appear, which will allow you to tap on it and finalize and finish all the optional steps of um, system setup, such as 
per se, Google Assistant and well other crap. So, well, as far as essentials go, uh, that would be it. Thanks for watching and bye bye.